You need to go get dressed. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. We're going to be spending the night here. I'm living with monks and oh my gosh, that was absolutely incredible. Hey guys, welcome back to Korea. You're probably wondering um, what we are wearing right now. Everything will be explained. We are doing something so unique here in Korea. We're actually doing a temple stay. Mm -hmm. We've come up to a place called Golgul Temple and we're going to be spending the night here, basically learning the religion of Buddhism, living with monks and becoming one <laughs> with <laughs> so about five minutes ago we actually checked into the temple and we we're given our uniforms all right you ready to check out the room so we're actually in separate rooms so i'm next door but we're just quickly checking out stevens so you take your shoes off oh wow talk about minimalistic i know right there's nothing in here. All right, so now we need to put our uniforms on and then we have a very strict itinerary. And we have to not be late and we're already late to our first activity. <laughs> so I've got my uniform here and we need to get changed. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> All right, first up is archery class. I actually didn't realize how much of a process goes into archery. I think we only joked around with some in Europe, but... Show them how stance. it's done then. <laughs> okay. Pure expert here. So to do with your stance and your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Then breathe in. And totally miss it. <laughs> All right, let's see you do better, Jess. <laughs> see, aiming for that thing, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> 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 So when you check into the temple, you get given two things. You get a map of the grounds and then you also get your program. And the program basically tells you where you need to be at what time and whereabouts you'll find that location on the map. And then no one tells you anything else. It is all up to you to work out where you need to be by using the map and you need to make sure you're always five minutes early. And I guess that's a way of teaching yourself self-discipline. We're pretty much doing ultimate summer camp right now, yeah. by the way. <laughs> temple style. <laughs> So the main reason that we picked this particular temple is because it's the only temple in all Korea that studies San Mudo. It's basically a mixture of meditation, Tai Chi, yoga and martial arts. And we're going to go and see a demonstration of it now. And then tonight we actually have our own class. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be sore in the morning. I already know it. <laughs> So uh, ready to do that yourself? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was absolutely incredible. We had like a couple of masters showing how it's done. They were doing kicks that were so high. I definitely know I won't be able to do that, but I'll give it a go. And stretches I've never seen anyone do it's, before. It looks intense. <laughs> so we're about to start our Sun Mudo class. So we're gonna learn what we just saw earlier today. feel super relaxed and just chill after the meditation so it's like a mixture of light exercise a little bit of tai chi a little bit of yoga everything mixed in there went for like an hour and a half the class and yeah i'm definitely ready for bed i just it's super relaxed and it feels weird being in this room and jess isn't going to be here but yeah as you can see the monks live super minimalistically so that's what we're going to be doing tonight this is bed 
This is our bed, so it's almost like a futon like in Japan. That can be where my bed goes. Good night. This is weird. I know, so weird. Have you already said? It's been three years since we didn't share the same room. Don't have any nightmares. No, you don't have any nightmares. <laughs> Good night. See you bright and early See with the gong. See you very, very early at the gong. Good night. Good night, Bobby. Bye. Good night. <laughs>good morning everybody morning. it's the next day <laughs> got up at 5 a.m. and walked our way back up to the actual temple had meditation had meditation had ch yes. chanting chanting and now it is almost 6 30 and we are going to go and have breakfast so for breakfast we're actually going to be eating the traditional Buddhist way it's called Pao Wu Yang Gang and basically what they do is that you get a few bowls and you're only able to take as much food as you can finish you have to eat in complete silence and really enjoy each piece of food. That was definitely probably one of the most unique breakfasts I think we've done. I'm trying to think back on one, but I think that's it. It was almost like a ritual. Yeah. There were so many processes that you had to kind of remember. The monk was watching on to see like if they we were, were doing it right. If we're doing it right, <laughs> there were different stages. So preparing the bowls, receiving the food, finishing the food. You weren't allowed to leave any, even like a seed couldn't be left. So it was almost like making sure you can finish all the food before the time was up. Up, uh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone had to pour their kind of excess water that they'd cleaned the bowls with into a bowl. And if there was any food in there, he would have redistributed the water out and we all would have had to have drunk it. They said it's never happened. Never but happened. But that's like the rule. Yes. But luckily we did a good job. But we've now come up to, I guess it's the highest point here in the temple with the most breathtaking views. But something even cooler is that on this side of this cliff, there is a Buddha carved into it. And it was actually carved 1500 years ago when an Indian who was studying Buddhism actually came here and carved it. And I guess maybe was one of the first people to introduce Buddhism into Korea. So there's a shrine just up here with the carving and it's actually super well preserved looking at this. 1500 years ago. And something even cooler is that below us there is a cave temple that was also carved out hundreds and hundreds of years ago and it's actually the only cave temple left in Korea and I'm standing on top of it right now. Wow. I can smell the incense burning. Yeah. So he carved this himself out of the limestone rock and there's a lot of different statues here. It's a temple so some of the Buddhist monks will come up here to meditate. Wow this is so cool. Wow, when you come to Korea, try plan your travels to come at the end of March, beginning of April because it is cherry blossom season. Alrighty guys, we are ending our morning inside this beautiful building. We're actually going to be having a tea ceremony and we're going to be meeting one of the monks and we get to go and ask them whatever questions we want, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's go.
what a cool and unique way to end our time here. We had rounds of tea, we listened to the stories of the monk, and then it kind of opened up to question time. So mm. we could ask him how long he's been doing it for, why he kind of got into it all, and it was just, you know, so interesting just sit down with someone that's so passionate about something for a whole hour. It was really nice. But that is the end of our time here. We only stayed one night, but I feel like you could literally come here and stay a whole week. It almost felt like a health and wellness retreat because you're eating healthy, you're doing training, meditation. It's almost like a way of you to come here, get away from the world for a week and just zen out and train. It was nice, but we'll put the details down if you want to find out the temple that we kind of stayed at, yeah. find out more information. But thanks so much for watching, guys. We're still in South Korea for a bit more time. So if you are new here, hit subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Cherry Blossom Season here in Korea. This is so beautiful.